Okay, let's pick up where we left off. So I'm just looking at the different types of canvas options here. So this is where it puts somebody else's face, so it cuts the image in two. I don't know whose faces this, these are actually, so they're pre-built in the stock, but I think it creates quite an interesting look. Definitely not my chin line, but I like it. Okay, so let's move on and let's see what other options we have. This is a really interesting one because it's giving me this glitch look and I can play with the different noise. So as you can see, I've just moved the horizontal noise. I love this actually, so I'm just gonna save this as a separate image. So as you can see with Pix, um, you can create really interesting images really quickly just by tapping a pre-made um, effect and then just moving across. Let's move across to Sketch now. So again, I'm just tapping the image that I want and it's giving me that option. This isn't the best image really because it's on a black background and I've already got that other effect on there, but I'm just moving through this so you guys can see the effects and, and how they work. So when you start editing your photos and creating different effects with those, you can really see um, how these work. This one's really nice where it creates that almost like an oil painting. I actually really like this one as well, so I'm gonna save that to my downloads folder. Okay, so let's move on. Let's have a look at a couple of other different ones. So um, when we look at the magic option, there's a few different ones. And again, I'm just going to reset my image. So don't save those. So we have my fresh image again, and we'll have a super quick look at the magic option. And I'm just gonna do a couple because you, you guys can look through these and do them yourself if you choose to download this app. Okay, so again, really interesting. Gives me a really interesting option. Makes me look a little bit more like a painting. I love these kind of effects when I'm uh, editing images because it just gives a really interesting visceral look. So I'm just, again, moving across and just looking at a couple of different ones. And again, you guys, you know, you can go into much more detail than I am here. So what it does is it just gives you a visual representation at the bottom of what your image will look like. And it really depends on the style of image you've got, really. Again, I love this one. I'm gonna save that to my downloads folder as well. Okay, guys, have a play with it. See what you can come up with. And I will see you in the next part of the Pixel Art series of sessions.